All right, boys, we're here. I'm alive. Let's go. Woody against Quasa. A quick one today. Just a very quick one. The prize pool is currently $100 to the winner, $75 to second place, and third place gets $25. So, uh, usually, previously, we only went away with only first and second place prize, which is $150 and $50. But we are sort of adding a third place, so we get even more games in. And people can get a little bit more of a uh, viewer retention in. So players and viewers can uh, watch more games. So we're adding that third place prize of $25. And here we are. So Woody against Quaster, best of 5 1 veto. Woody is slowly getting through all of his players. Latav has already played all of his. Marco has two games left, if I'm not wrong. And then I believe after that is Tim, who has one game left as well. But uh, what do you think we'll start down the bottom right here and let off? Let off? Of course. <laughs> down on top left. So currently Woody has been 3-0ing everyone right, everyone right now. Through the clean sweep. Absolutely everywhere. So we'll see whether Quartz can do the same, or at least try to get one game off him, whether he will be the first one to get a game off of him. He does get drone so far. But uh, Quartz's play style against Woody's play style, I mean Woody's so good at adapting and being able to counter every single thing that's been thrown at him. And Quartz is just known to not give a shit about anything and just push in and attack and attack and attack. So Quartz will probably go maybe in extra one or two minus and then he's gonna spam out like five walls immediately and somehow balance his eco throughout at the same time. There's something that's pretty rare to see actually. If I'm not wrong, Quartz actually beat a couple of people that uh that people that we don't think that he should have beaten. So he's proven us wrong proven us wrong a couple of times before. See what the same thing happens here on two walls each. Wood is long distance mining two minus two those gems. Quartz isn't so far. I think he's just waiting for one more refinery down here. Before he long distance mine those gems. Four, five, six, seven, two, four, six, eight, nine minus for Woody. Nine minus for Woody. And Quartz is already on four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's a minor behind here, but he's uh, even on walls. Woody just got his third up. And he's already transitioning into Rhino of course. Also at the same time, he's gonna long since buy into gems also. But I'm not sure whether he will be able to get there in time. Woody is already making a move towards mid and towards top here. He's getting some fodder out as well, both players. But unfortunately the tent is right there. Woody doesn't want his fodder to die. So he's gonna get the tent out of the way. Well, Woody's on four walls now, Quaz is on three. He's only just started long distance finding those gems. Woody has already finished his. And there's the 4 4 out for Quaz. <laughs> so Woody imposing himself in mid here, waiting for that father to get into position. And here we see Woody and Quaz quite even on rhino numbers there. But Woody does have the advantage. Quas also has a defender's advantage here. With sentry guns and the war factory being nearby. Fortunately, none posted yet. Out comes the fifth war for Woody. Quas is still on four here. I think he wants to build a ref by the patch. Or oh, and there comes the fifth. Okay. And Woody's gonna take a hold of mid. Submir. Woody's gonna take a hold of mid here, getting gems. This is gonna support his eco a lot more, obviously, going super heavy on five walls. And Quartz is going to opt for a forward rat there. Woody with a radar and a forward rat for a death so. <laughs> That's a lot of death so's there for Woody. He's going to try to probably zone out or is he going to control shift the death so's? I'm not too sure. But he does expand to the right hand side here. Quas hasn't expanded yet. So both players still on five walls. But Woody has mid and a lot of death zones here.
They're pretty even on Rhino numbers. But the Deso is so hard to come by here. There's a lot of fodder and a good number of them can do a good damage to the Rhinos. And one mana goes down for Quas. Wood is still pushing forward here. Quas of his own Deso. Now it's actually going to be able for Quas there to deal with the Desos. He's going to go for a drone instead here. Good use of the Desos by Quas there to push Woody back with the Rhinos. Quas needs to start expanding here. A lot of his miners are running on dry. And especially after he lost that one miner down by the bottom patch. And then he comes again here, Woody. Now I have a significantly larger number of rhinos. The tank control is almost a conga line there, but he does have a conga line in a close direction, so it's not too bad for him. And Quas is gonna call GG anyways. And down goes Quas 1 0 to Woody. Tech building captured. DMZ. Just kidding, it's DMZ. What does DMZ stand for? Doesn't it mean demilitarized zone? I think so. I think that's what it means. Yeah, demilitarized zone, so it's like a, a, a zone where no one can absolutely do anything militaristically. You don't hear babies in the cr crying in the background. Yuri, I'm, I don't have face cam on for this one. Oh my god. What the hell is happening? All right. <laughs> All right, yeah. But the demilitarized zone here down in Montana. I'm not sure where Montana is. Uh, my kid? Um, who knows? Might not be my kid. Yeah, I think the, the the point of this the point of this is probably this map is probably a demilitarized zone for which is why there's an entire river here. But unfortunately, some people called the LE team <laughs> they didn't put the river. I uh, didn't make the river all the way through. So here we are. Let me close the predictions here. <laughs> True. Yeah, so DMZ, we're on to one wall. See a power drop from Woody down on top right by the power plant. Uh, we've seen this happen time and time again. The Connies will easily deal with a sentry gun. I think Quas will have to pull a miner here to deal with the power drop. Else it's gonna go low power and if it did go low power. Should have pulled that uh, mine in a lot earlier. Excuse me. And on the back of that, Woody on four miners now, three on gems. And Quas is a miner behind. There you go, that's the fourth one. So, three on gems. Four on gems, actually. All four of them. And he goes for a fifth on gold. So drones, Quas' drone still around the bottom. What is drone? It's along the top here. I think they're just scouting at that point. <laughs> Woody took the red pill. True. Second war of a Quas, Woody goes for a ref. They'll see that power drop pretty easily down there. So Quas currently ahead. But uh, obviously that's because Woody went for the extra miner. Quas is on four miners here, and Woody's on two, three, four, five, six. So he's not necessarily ahead by Eco, but Woody is definitely trying to play the long game here, so, um, solidifying his Eco when it comes towards the later game. And look at this, it's going all the way forward here. Connie's and Dogs is fodder, and Quas is gonna go straight in here. He does have a draw to reinforce. I think Woody's gonna lose that tank fight. Wood is definitely gonna lose that tank fight there. Quas is gonna push him all the way back. But Quas is not gonna overcommit to that. Woody losing a tank fight for the first time in this series. Or rather for the first time ever I've seen here. I think Quas I think uh, I think Woody was a bad idea there to move in while he's uh under tanked and Wood uh, Quas was just really really good to uh, target those rhinos individually and not let the fodder go to waste and comes that paradox by that bridge so Quas is gonna push forward here to help him with the fodder just be careful then not to kill his own bridge Woody is in trouble here Quas already on his third wall factory he has moved along the top Woody is on three walls as well 
But of course, this is slowly gonna go down here. He has to be really meticulous in how he engages his fight. Sentry gun goes down. Is he gonna overcommit? So he has to run away from that sentry gun. He can't let the sentry gun be to win his advantage. He's gonna go all the way down here. No fodder for anyone. But of course, again, he's gonna win that fight. He's gonna push Woody all the way back. And still gonna push Woody all the way back. But this is a point of time where he can't overcommit here. He does overcommit anyway and loses the fight. And on the back of that, the paradrop coming in on the right side will take care of another power plant from Quas. So Quas in a strange turn of events there, pushing Woody back in two occasions, but overcommitting on that second one. And his eco is not the best here. Rhino number is not the best as well. Paradrop defensively is going to come in. But Woody is chasing down. He's going to get that war factory out of the way. Sentry guns out for Quas as well. Woody, is he going to overcommit here? It's gonna alt the war factory and down it goes Woody now over committing. Down goes Woody's rhinos. Nothing happening everywhere else but Woody is gonna expand now up to five war factories. Obviously he can keep up with the eco after going an extra minor or two around the back. And Quas is on four wars now. See even though Quas still pushed Woody back in one two tank fights. Uh, Woody is still ahead primarily because of his eco. He went a minor or two extra, expanded really smartly, and Quas didn't really go heavy on minus. Uh, he is still on, he was on four minus for a very long time while Woody was on six. So eco is very unbalanced there. Fodder coming in for Quas. Can Woody hold this uh, push here? It's gonna retreat back, but his rhino numbers are always bigger than Quas here. And even more rhinos come in around the back of it. Obviously on five wars against three. Quas is not gonna survive this for much longer, production wise. It's down to a game of survival here for Quas running away for his life. But oh, Woody's gonna chase it down here. Good micro to pull the rest of the rhinos coming in to cut off the rhinos running away. Another rat's coming around the back for fodder. But I don't think Quas is gonna get out of that Woody playing for the late game here. Even though losing two tank fights, he still wins the late game. Good opportunity there and really, really good showing from Quas. But unfortunately, Woody still way too strong. That's 2-0. Oh my god. I thought Quas was going to win that, man. I thought Quas was going to win that. I was so optimistic. What's up, Rizal? You like how? Uh, I think the main reason there was Woody... I mean, if you want to play Soviet, it's pretty straightforward. A uh, foolproof way is to spam miners at the start and then go all wall factories. You go all wall factories and that'll help you uh, with the eco late game. And Quas was on four miners at one point for a couple minutes while Woody was on six. And that meant that Woody's eco was so solidified heading towards the late game that Quas couldn't really keep up with his eco. So if your eco is going to go down while your opponent is still going up, you're not going to keep up with eco at all and you're going to hit zero a couple of times. If you're hitting constantly hitting zero, you're not going to make rhinos. You're not going to efficiently make rhinos from your war factory. So it's, it's a, that's, <laughs> that's all it is really. Just down to plain eco. And Woody is, a, Woody is not loading, first of all. But Woody is a master at... Um, Doing that kind of thing. Excuse me, Woody. Just kindly load in, please. Uh, currently, I don't think there's any more games after this because it's currently 11:30 for Woody and myself. So he only plays up until midnight. But yeah, both players not learning. I'm just gonna re. If Quas maybe went one or two extra minus, he would have been able to cap, uh, keep up. That's why that's why Woody had a disadvantage early game, while Quas has an advantage late game. Uh, sorry, Woody Quas was disadvantaged late game. Woody was disadvantaged early game.
Probably would his uh, would his <laughs> school internet drop down? Tak kerja besok tak bang. Amit cuti besok. Kemalas nak lagi kerja. Ah long weekend pun amit lah one day off je. Kita relax sedikit. Alah pergi kerja aku bukan buat apa pun Diri duduk kat rumah je duduk ofis tak buat apa-apa Sup Lira Oops Yeah look at the password It's alright Yeah, exactly, Rizawi, exactly. I can beat two players at the same time. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. Uh, unfortunately, no one asked, so you're on your own there. We can't, Miri, fuck off. We can't do this. Uh, unfortunately, no webcam today. I'm looking pretty roughed up. Except I just realized I went on like a minute rant and talking to you in a language that I never talked about in stream before. And I I think only the two of us understand that language. I don't think anyone else in 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 chat understand that understood that. Squat 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 squat. Okay, hey, there he is. Let's see Asia. All right, let's go. I hope Woody doesn't lag because he's on his uh, mobile data now. Shouldn't lag that much. Alright, Tiberon. Colossus map pick. It's gonna be top left and bottom right. Yeah, this map is. You can be. This map is so huge to the extent that it can be played so many different ways. Which is why I think it's probably one of the best maps in the larger scale. Hoot. Wow, uh, where's number four? There you go. Yeah, so if you're if you're Woody's position, right, you can play it two ways. So you, so you can move your MCV top uh, to get another patch of gems. You can continue expanding on bottom and then move your MCV here to so grab this and this patch. Or you can even move towards mid and get more gems and another ore patch. If you're on top right, you can move down. You can expand around the top here, more gems and more ore patches down in mid. If you're on top left, you can expand to get this wall patch as well, or move down towards uh, the other gem patch, or even move forward towards the other one. So definitely a lot of ways to play this map. But players typically go either for the second second gem patch uh, to the north or south of their base, or they will expand along the top. So that's something we've yet to be seen. <laughs> Quartz seeing that drone turn MCV. Oh, MCV. I meant sentry gun there. Not doing that well of a job there. Thankfully, he did get the war factory out just in time for the service depot being built. So both players going double war right at the start here. Frank will call this a Chinese opening. Why? I have no idea. You got KFC? Oh, yeah, yeah, obviously. <laughs> obviously, we do. But the only thing good from our KFC is the T tries. Other than that, it's it, it sucks. Uh, Jollibee and Texas chicken or Texas uh, chicken, and what is it called in America? It's uh, it's what it's it's a lot better. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, minus four Woody and causes on four once again. Fifth is coming up, but now. Chick-fil-A? No, we don't. 
I mean, like the fast food joints that we have is quite limited actually. Not that much. We got Popeyes, McDonald's, KFC, Burger King. Fuck, I can't remember. I can't think of anything else. <laughs> Yeah, we have Jollibee. Yeah, Jollibee, Texas Chicken, or Chechas uh, Chicken, uh, Popeyes, I already said Popeyes. I don't know, I can't remember. What are you going on? Four walls strong here, Quas still on two. He is spamming on the miners here. Four, five, six, seven, eight miners for Quas. Woody's on two, six, eight as well. So both even on miners, and Quas is going to spam out walls now. Yeah, it definitely looks bad for course. He is so far behind here. He does have a good number of rhinos though, but in terms of production, he is so far behind. Four walls to four now. He just got his fourth up. But this two gold patches is gonna dwindle down like cotton candy <laughs> in weight uh, in water. So it's not looking good for course right now. The only thing he can do now is spam out a bunch of drones and delay with his push. If he can delay Woody's push here, he can probably just buy him some time to rebuild. But the thing is, the more you delay Woody, the stronger he becomes. I mean, look at the number of rhinos he has. He's gonna escort his MCV around top right now for any drones. But it is looking pretty grim here for Kuwas. Since it's far behind, uh, players are usually far behind. Usually spam a bunch of drones to delay their opponent. Get more rhinos in. But the production wise, two, four, five. Four factories. Cross is on four. And now Woody coming in with a three way split here down the bottom, down in mid, and down along the top. So, top one, he's just killing a bunch of gems. As he usually do. And the bottom split here just waiting to push forward. Now Quas does have a good rhino advantage here. He's gonna move towards mid. It's gonna give him some ground here. Wood is on his fifth war factory now. Or his sixth war factory actually. And Wood is on his uh Quas is on his fifth, sorry. He's gonna pull back the spit around the bottom here. He might just make a pincer maneuver onto Quas here. Quas has to be careful. And he comes here. Woody gonna push along the top here. More reinforcements coming along the bottom. Quas is out tanked on both fronts and he needs to bring in his reinforcements. But they are long far gone and we're just gonna overpower Quas here down at the front line. Only now does Quas pull in his reinforcements. Will he make it in time here? Quas does get out of that pickle situation. And he does survive. But for how long? Woody is bringing in his own reinforcements here. Any sentry gun getting popped out is going down immediately. Fodder coming out the Paris but Quas really good tank control that is gonna push Woody back but Woody's gonna come back even more rhinos with even more rhinos here it's not gonna let go of the gas battle at all with his six war factories and really looking grim here Quas needed to spam out a bunch of fodder from the barracks but down goes the last rhino and that's gonna be 3-0 to Woody in really in one quick maneuver and that's a quick 3-0 